First of all, I know what you're going to say. You've spoken to Higgins and Trust. If that's the name of the surveyors, then yes, I have. I've also spoken to the solicitor, and the buyers have already heard. I can explain. I think you're better. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I didn't show him out, you know. I just politely asked him to leave. That's not what they told me. OK. Well, I'd lost all self-control. So then why didn't you leave? Why didn't you just say, you know what, mate? I I'll give you 20 minutes. I don't know. What happened here? I left you. You were meant to be having a calm day on the sofa. I mean, they you could have just said to him, mate, please, can you stop whistling? That's what Robert said. I mean, you told Robert. I can't relocate. Yeah. Not now. OK, so what? Is it all off again? Is it just, is it off? Uh, we'll still get married, just stay here, you know. Uh, why rush off to Devon, eh? Because you sold up. Because you no longer own that business. Because we are buying a restaurant down there and a house down there. This is nuts! I am nuts! I am nuts! Where are you going? Out. Okay, we need to talk about. You said enough. You know what? I don't know what you've heard today, but it's none of your business. You know, you better make Nick change his mind and fast. Because if you're not moving away from here, I'm going to blab with a capital B. Robert will drop you like a stone. Oh, well, I'll take that chance. You said you wouldn't tell him. Yeah, and you said you were moving away, you daft bint. So if that isn't happening, why should I sit on my hands? Because, Tracy, you have got everything that you wanted. Almost. It's like you're obsessed with me. <laughs> it would be a compliment. It's like you've got almost a crush. <laughs> I am Mr. You ruined my life. And I won't be held responsible for what comes next, OK? And I promise that for the capital P. Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. That was the cake? Yeah, it was great. Love, what's the matter? Uh, she's blackmailing me. 